So Creatures of Scenaria has over 180 creatures and as the game progresses more creatures are expected to be added which got me thinking, what is the rarest creature in the game? So do you know what the rarest creature in Roblox Creatures of Scenaria is? Well um, I don't either so let's find out together in this video. Comment down below what you think is the rarest creature before watching and you better not skip to the end because that is cheating. Okay, so when I think of rare creatures, I think of creatures that are very hard to trade for and very hard to obtain. And the creatures that come to mind are the Karuku, Sigmatox, Ares, Event creatures, and Limited creatures. Now that I have the list narrowed down out of the 180 plus creatures in the game to just the rare ones, we can now begin figuring out which one's actually the rarest. Okay, so let's start with limited gacha creatures. So these creatures are called limited creatures, but it was confirmed by one of the owners of Creatures of Scenaria that these limited creatures will return once we have about 7 plus limited gacha cycles, but it isn't confirmed how many limited gacha cycles it will have to be, but as of now, all we know is 7 plus cycles. So with that being said, we can eliminate all of the limited gacha creatures since they will be returning which kind of makes no sense since they are limited creatures. And if they will be returning, that means that they are definitely not one of the rarest creatures. So now let's check out the Sigmatox and the Ares. The Sigmatox is a creature that can only be traded slash given out by testers, meaning it is still possible but that's if you find a tester that is willing to trade you one and to be honest i myself don't even have a sigma tox because i never really bothered trying to find one but yeah it's still a very hard creature to obtain and testers get a supply of only five species every month okay now the aries the aries has been in the game for a while now and it can only be traded slash given out by content creators and if you don't know what a content creator is, a content creator is basically somebody that was officially approved and they make videos for the game. And yeah, um, like me. Yeah, exactly like me. Um, join my Discord link in the description because I just want to host a bunch of Ares giveaways and other giveaways. So yeah, be sure to go check that out. But yeah, there are a lot of content creators for Creatures of Scenaria. And uh, a lot of Ares have already been given out and traded away. Unlike the Sigma Tox, only obtaining 5 species every month, Hunting creators get 20 Ares species every month. So yeah, the Sigma Tox is a lot rarer than the Ares, but they are both creatures that can still be traded for and still obtainable, meaning these are not the rarest creatures since they are both still tradable and obtainable through testers and content creators. Okay, so now we have the list narrowed down to the event creatures, the Karuku, and the Alonis, and there are eight main events that have occurred in Creatures of Scenaria as of today. Those events are the Winter Event, Valentine Events, Halloween Event, Easter Event, LSS Event, and Summer Paradise Event. Okay, let's talk about the event creatures. Each event consisted of creatures that you would be able to obtain during the event, and those creatures would go limited once the event was over. All the events except the Summer Paradise event had a Warden. Wardens were creatures that possessed the ability to deal more damage the lower health points they had. They were pretty much the main creature for that event. Okay, so some events did return annually, along with the Warden and along with other creatures that were obtainable during that event, meaning you would get them once the event returns, and those events were the Easter, Halloween, Valentine, and Winter event. So the Summer Paradise event did not have a Warden creature, but it did have three mission creatures such as the Hysolidium, the Rorolo, and the Denzi, and all those creatures are now tradable and we are not sure if the event will be returning annually like the other events. So knowing that the annual events will be returning annually and getting creatures from the Summer Paradise event was really easy and a lot of people already have the creatures, we can remove those creatures from those events from the list. Okay, so now we are left with the LSS event creatures, the Karuku and the Alonis, and the LSS event creatures are a little bit different, and we'll talk about it later. Okay, so the Karuku and the Alonis are both unobtainable creatures, and the only way to get the Alonis was to play Creatures of Scenaria way, way back when the game was still in beta, and you would get a Roblox badge for joining the game, and according to the badge, 544,698 people played Creatures of Scenaria during beta. So basically all you had to do was join the game and when the game was fully released you got the Alonis. Alonis is a pretty rare creature 
but there are literally half a million of them out there and uh yeah it was pretty easy to get so we can remove alonis off of the list now the only way to get the kuruku was to spend robux during beta and if you did you got the beta supporter badge do you want to know how many people out of 544,698 people who played during beta actually spent Robux? Well, according to the badge, only 24,222 people actually spent Robux during beta, meaning only 24,222 Kurukus exist. Kurukus are extremely hard to come across, and even if you do find somebody that has one, it is not going to be cheap because they are extremely expensive, and they are currently selling for more than 180,000 mushrooms and expected to rise and this makes the kuruku the rarest creature in the game now there's something that i did not take into consideration and that is the lss event if you don't know the lss event was made because during the easter event 2022 it was very easy to obtain mushrooms by defeating the easter boss and by defeating it you got insane rewards and with the tens of thousands of players who played every day and grinded the easter event millions of mushrooms were literally being obtained every single day during the event it took like 10 minutes per boss fight and if you did really well you would easily make a thousand mushrooms every boss fight and yes the boss fight was repeatable and the rewards were nerfed a few days after re the release of the event but the damage was already done so to reduce the mushroom influx in the economy the developers made the lss event so the lss event consisted of four creatures each creature you had to donate a certain amount of mushrooms and and to complete the in-game task given to obtain the creature that you wanted, you needed to donate a total of 35,000 mushrooms to unlock all the creatures. But the thing is, for people that didn't get to grind the event, and people that did not have any mushrooms at all, it was very hard to donate and buy all the creatures. So the Novus Warden being the final creature, it was the hardest to obtain. To get the Novus Warden, you need to complete all of the other LSS event missions and donate the total of 35,000 mushrooms. So the thing about the Novus Warden is it is the only event creature that won't be returning and it is the only untradeable creature in game and you are only allowed to have one species in your inventory and yes, it is untradeable and never returns turning in game. Okay, now you might be wondering what the Novus Warden has to do with being the rarest creature in game. Well, it's already untradeable and never returning, and it's practically impossible to get. So if you don't know, the global donation goal, which counted every single mushroom that was donated during the LSS event, reached 655 million mushrooms. If you did 655 million divided by 35,000, which was the amount of mushrooms needed to obtain the Elvis Warden, that would only be 18,000. 1714 meaning if everyone who donated got the novice warden there will only be 18714 of them which is less than the 24222 karukus that exist but the thing is not everyone was actually able to get the novice warden because not everyone had 35000 mushrooms which means that the amount of novice wardens that actually exist is a lot less than 18714 I estimate that there are probably only around 13 to 15,000 Novus Wardens, but that's what I think. Tell me in the comments how many Novus Wardens you think there actually are. According to the wiki, the devs are considering remaking the LSS event, and as of now, the Novus Warden remains untradeable, and again, they said as of now, which could mean that the Warden could possibly become tradable in the future. Okay, so knowing that there are a lot less Novus Wardens than Karukus, and the fact that Novus Warden is untradeable and unobtainable, we can clearly say that it is the rarest creature in Creatures of Scenaria, and I know in the comments some of you guys are going to be like, Sigma Tox is the rarest, and yes, honestly yes, it is the rarest as of now, because not many exist because testers only get 5 per month. And there are not many testers, but over time, Sigma Toxes will be traded out and given out, which will lessen its rarity, unlike the untradeable and unobtainable Novus Warden. So after a lot of research, I've concluded that the Novus Warden will be the all-time rarest creature in Creatures of Scenaria. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.